Right, so in this uh, video we will see how to write a C language program in which we are using interrupts for the 8951 microcontroller. So we are in the Microvision 4 environment and we have uh, written this program. So first of all we will include the uh, reg52.h header file which will uh, basically you know uh, define all the addresses associated with all the pins. Then we have defined all the uh, we have defined two uh, unsigned characters A and B. Uh, we have also associated pin number 1.7, 1. 1.1, uh, 1. 1.7, pin 2.0 with SW, SW1 and SW2 respectively. So now we will use these names instead of the names of the pins. And then in the main program we have some initialization instructions. So in the main program we have initialized the interrupt enable register. So we have initialized the global interrupt and we have in, uh, initialized or we have enabled the timer 0 and timer 1 interrupt. We have uh, set timer uh, mode register so that timer 1 uh, is running in mode 2 and timer 0 in mode 1 because of this one over here. We have initialized A and B uh, variables to be 0 and we have uh, you know uh, set the overflow flag for timer, one, uh, timer 0. Why we have done that? So that uh, when the program starts the timer is overflown and it automatically jumps to its interrupt service routine and the uh, timer is initialized for the first time. Okay, We could have avoided that if we had initialized this timer over here and then again in the interrupt service routine but this was just an idea that I wanted to show you. And then this uh, LED connected to this pin which is pin 1.1 uh, 1 over here is turned off. So basically we have three LEDs connected over here which will turn on and off uh, depending upon where is our code in the program. Then we have uh, initialized th1 with uh, the value 6 decimal and we have started timer 1. So this is the value which will be reloaded in timer 1 every time and it will be picked from uh, the higher register of uh, timer 1 and placed in the lower register which is tl1 and it will count upwards to 255 which will give us a delay of 250 microseconds. And then this starts the timer 1 and this is our while loop where our program waits forever. So our program will be stuck in this loop forever and whenever there's an interrupt it jumps to the specified interrupt, service routine uh, processes that and comes back and then again waits here forever. Now how do we program for interrupts? We can see that we have a C uh, function written for that so it returns nothing, it takes no parameters and uh, the name over here of this function is timer0. So this could be any name that you would like to give to it. However, this is a keyword that you have to associate with any particular interrupt. And for timer 0, this will always be interrupt 1. So each interrupt of the 8951 has a number associated with it, which you have to use over here. And automatically when that interrupt occurs, and if the interrupt enable register has been correspondingly set, the control will automatically tr uh, come over here. So this is a list of all the interrupts and the associated numbers. So timer 0 has interrupt number 1, timer 1 has interrupt number 3, which is what we have used. So what happens in this interrupt service routine? We first of all toggle an LED connected to this pin, we uh, reset the timer, we reload the timer, or we stop the timer over here, and we reload the timer va uh, with these values. Now this 3CAF is basically a value in hexadecimal which corresponds to 15535 in decimal. Since this timer 0 is running in mode 1, it is a 16-bit mode in which these two registers are treated as a single register, 16-bit register, and it counts upwards towards double F double F hexadecimal. So since we are starting from this value which equates to 15535 in uh, decimal, and it will count to the maximum double F double F hexadecimal which equates to 65535 in decimal, we get a delay of 50,000 microseconds. And if we do it 20 times, then we will get a delay of 1 second because 50,000 microseconds times 1 second is, uh, uh, times 20 is 1 second. And we are incrementing A 20 times, uh, every time, so when it reaches 20, we have a delay of 1 second and we are toggling another pin or LED. And each time this happens, we also set uh, or increment B. And if this happens twice, then it means we have a delay of two seconds and we toggle another LED. So we have three LEDs which are turning on and off at different times, one uh, after one second, another one after two seconds, and one less than that. 